Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Game one of the American League Championship Series. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Houston Astros. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And next up for the Tigers, Chloe Frazier. She's got the power but great Pretty contact good. skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Intentional pass coming. Base is now loaded, though it does set up a force at every base. That is cool. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And next will be the Tiger cleanup hitter, Spencer Torkelson. How many times have we seen an early at bat change the course of a game? It happens every night in baseball, and maybe it happens again here. Grounded to third. Could be two. Wide throw, and it gets away. But it's offline. He will score. Well, some errors hurt That's way good. more than others, That's right? Good. I mean, two runs come okay. in right there, so oh. definitely a tough one to get over. And that could have been a very different result if they make the play cleanly. And here is C.J. Crone. I know we're still early in the stages of this game, but this at bat has the potential of being a difference maker. You've got to stay calm in the box. On the ground, the third might be two. Goes to second for one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. Packed house here at Minute Maid. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a hitter that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Fought off foul. Her swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. She gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Man at second. He's hit, rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's four to four. Well done, drives in the run. Good job getting the foot down so she could catch it out front and pull it. Turn on it nicely for the knock. At the play, Spencer Torkelson. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Run around the move, pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal of second base. Hard ground ball base knock. Frazier around third. Jill score and the Tigers have the lead. It's 5-4. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. She's kind of an outlier, especially when hitters are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And that one is lifted in the air. It gets down a base hit. Yeah. 
Now batting. Designated hitter. Runner at first. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. Two outs. On the ground to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So up next, C.J. Crone. First and second, two down. Here in game one of the ALCS. On the ground. On the run, sends it over to first. Out number three. Tigers strand a pair. They lead it 5-4. So two on with two away. Now we'll say Altuve up to him here. Singing, he's a guy that covers oh, both sides there. of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great. Man. Tosses to first. They limit the damage here. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We're headed to the fifth. We're all tied up, 5-5. Five, five. Now, here the is bat. Chloe Frazier. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That one is absolutely belted. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. With one swing, she quiets the crowd. It's 10-5. Chris, she's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and she's got her timing locked in. She's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Well, a great job here of staying within herself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, she does more than just a knock. It's the grand slam to drive in for. Really good job at the play. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Fires over to Crone. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. Up next to the Astros, the second baseman, Jose. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series, but now a chance to hit the reset button. That's one of the things he's going to have to get used to, being the superstar player in this lineup. They are going to pitch you very tough, and you make the adjustment, you can have six. To first, third out, starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. We look ahead to inning number eight. Tigers 10, and the Astros 5. Back here in Houston, new inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Chloe Frazier. With this kind of lead, she can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what she loves to do. And here it comes. Into the outfield base hit. And the leadoff hitter aboard. Well, Singy, she is locked in there. She's really slowed the game down, and it's like she's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that she squared up that baseball tells me that she is seeing it like a beach ball. And the pitch. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And here's the first baseman, C.J. Crone. C.J. Crone. First and second, no outs. Here are the late stages of game one. 
Popped up. And it drops in around third. Now she stops and she's able to get back into third. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base yeah, hits on is. balls hit like Look, that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back with another good pitch for the punch out with the base. Swing and a pop-up. Nabs it. Runner tags for home. In there right. safely. And it's now a six-run lead. And up next for Detroit, Chloe Frazier. She's already homer here in this one. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. And the righty deals. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Tucker going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. One hit. Frazier really stood out in this win. A four hit performance including a home run. Really impressive work at the dish. She gave her teammates a lot of opportunities in this one. And that's really all you can ask her to do. Eleven six, the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.